Okay guys, so, welcome back, so I'm going to show you the new signings and all the players we've gotten rid of. So, we brought in Romain Richard, who's coming from Reims for 5 mil. He's actually a decent player, um, he's been doing well for us. Um, so hopefully we can sell him on for a lot more, because he's still young and he's going to develop really well. Um, Joaquin Cuevas, um, he's on loan from Barcelona, we don't really use him that much, I just kind of had him as a bench option, um, so yeah, Luis Sosa from, uh, Boca Juniors, he's out on loan at Vitoria, um, so yeah, um, he's a defensive mid option, that'll probably turn into a centre back. Yeah, we brought in Raphael Barth, another keeper, because um, I'm going to be releasing all the keepers, but this guy is on loan to a, I think that's a Belgium club, I bought this guy when he was like 16, so, or like 15, something like that, brought this guy on a pre-contract, so hopefully he can get loan time, brought him from Kashim Antlers, um, so yeah, hopefully you can get loan time out. Um, Fabian Pompey, we brought him in from Independiente. Hopefully he can get a uh, game out on loan. He's quite a decent player, so we might end up keeping him. Um, we brought in Michael Tomasek. His um, he was his media description was a wonder kid. Oh, kind of why I brought him in brought him in for 10 mil um, so yeah hopefully he can get time out on loan and develop um, and Nikolai Corbett we brought him for 32 mil he's going to play attacking mid for us he's going to be a he's going to be an absolute um beast for us I can just you can just like, look at them them stats holy cow in the stats um, where he's highlighted absolutely godly he's definitely going to be playing for us for a long time um, anyway on the outs Jeff Turner, one of our Gibraltarian players, has left for Gibraltar Lions. Obviously, like it says he, that his potential really is that, but it's not. He has like two star potential. So I don't know what the scout is trying to con us there. We got rid of Kieran Martin on loan, um, and we got rid of our record sign in. We got rid of him for 50 mil, which is mental to me so he made a 20 mil profit um has he actually played yeah he's played quite a few games for Real Madrid actually to be fair um but yeah um we set out with Jules Garden loan um he'll probably be leaving though I only wanted to try and make a profit on him so if I can't make a profit on him then I'm just going to um, get rid of him. Danny Jimenez is a guy who I managed to make a profit on, on a free. Um, so yeah. Uh, uh, and yeah, you know about the rest. So anyway, um, let's go to the schedule. Um, so we beat Mons Calpe 7-1. We beat Lynx 4 0, they had a player red carded. We beat College Rope 3 0 in the Pepper Perez Cup. We beat Red Bull Leipzig 2 1 in the uh, uh, UEFA Super Cup. We beat Magpies 2 0 in the league. We beat Europa Point 7 0. And, um, we beat Boca Juniors Gibraltar 5-0, they had a red card. 
So we had Juventus, Shakhtar and Atletico in our group. We beat Juventus at home 1-0. We beat Manchester 62-2-0. We missed the pen as well. Beat Shakhtar 2-0 away. We drove Atletico 4 all away. Absolutely madness. Beat Gibraltar Lions 3-1. We beat Lincoln Red Imps 4-0. They had a player red carded. We beat College Robot 3-0. We then beat Atletico Madrid 2-0 at home. We drew Juventus 1-0. Beat Glasses United 9-0. And we beat St. Joseph's 3-0. Uh, sorry. And we beat Shakhtar 1-0. And that's it. Um, so here's the competition so far. Uh, yeah, <laughs> not that you're shocked, but we've got Guedes, who is literally the next Messi um, in here. I wonder if he had a wonder kid. He didn't either. He's just really good. Um, but yeah. Uh, I guess we lose. I can't really see College Europa keeping up. And we got Real Madrid in the uh, knockout stages. Um, it, our players even top of that. So there you go. Um, easiest draw was PSV Eindhoven. Stad Rene is like the new Barcelona in this save. So they've been taken over and they're quite quite decent at this point. They, they get close to winning the league all the time. But yeah. Um, here's the club info if we go to general we've got 161 season ticket holders which is really bloody good um, here's the facilities we oh yeah I'm, I'm not sure if this has been in the video but we're expanding the stadium now you'll be like oh why don't you just get a new one well if we expand the stadium then it means all the other teams can sell out um, bring more people in and not only that but we can have more people for the international games you know stuff like that so we've got six we've got 44 mil sorry um don't know what <laughs> 53 mil went out oh, i was probably the transfer money for the player but yeah um so yeah um but yeah, um, let's go to the internationals. Um. So, we played San Marino, beat them 4-1. Played Czech Republic, beat them 3-0. Um, this doesn't feel right. Oh yeah, it's right. Uh, sorry, I'm having a dumb moment. Um, we lost five nil, five two to England. We beat Moldova three two. We played Vietnam in a friendly and we beat them 5-2. We lost Ireland 3-0 and we beat San Marino 4-0. Here was our group in the end. We came fourth. England obviously qualified. Um, so yeah. Let's see all the groups. I'm not sure if it's done to be fair. So Poland, Germany, Belgium, Wales... England, Spain, Serbia, Ukraine, France, Portugal, Holland, Russia, Scotland, Sweden, and Croatia all got through. And yeah, we've got friendlies against Australia and Montenegro to look forward to. We're 92nd in the world. Oh, look. Uh, hey, he's actually signed Celtic for 9.75 um, mil, which is 
call. Um, he'll definitely, he should get more game time then, because they bought him for full on money. So yeah, um, but yeah, that's all right. Um, but yeah, um, nothing really to report here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys for the next episode.